gives you the creeps? He's the president of Hollywood. He's supposed to give you the creeps. time, scientists at NOAA say the edge of the massive spill has reached the Gulf Loop Current, a rocket stream of water that jets towards the Florida Keys and the popular East Coast beaches, a disastrous impact, which could arrive in as little as seven days. Meanwhile, in Louisiana... The day that we've been fearing is upon us today. Thick, brown, gooey oil is now coating the outer marshes of the Mississippi wetlands. There's a lot more coming. From the good American crew on. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal toured the marshes to see the oil up close. This was not the weathered, the emulsified oil. This wasn't tar balls. This wasn't sheen. This was heavy oil. Stopping the oil from reaching land is now a losing battle. When we surveyed the bayous yesterday, we found oil on both sides of booms designed to block it, and other booms broken apart and useless. It is now just a matter of time before these birds, that crab, are coated in it. They said the black oil wouldn't come ashore. Well, it is ashore. And there is more out there. Those ships clustered above the leaking wellhead. That flaring gas burned off from some of the leaking oil that is now being siphoned to the surface. It was exactly four weeks ago that the drill rig Deepwater Horizon exploded, killing 11 workers. These newly released images show what happened in the hours that followed. And this giant rig just before it sank. Now, a couple of quick points. Uh, uh, the blowout preventer that uh, is still leaking, BP hopes to block it by early next week with mud. Uh, we may actually be able to see, though, the video of that leak uh, on the Internet in the coming days. BP looks like they're going to relent and allow a live stream. And finally, I'm at the governor's mansion because I'm about to board a Black Hawk helicopter with Governor Jindal and tour the oil so coastline. Yesterday, the ballast program for a super tanker training model mistakenly thought the vessel was empty and flooded its tanks. Excuse me. The little boat flipped over. A virus planted within the Gibson computer system claimed responsibility. What, it left a note? Unless five million dollars are transferred to the following number account in seven days, I will capsize five tankers in the annex and delete them. Is that? That is the virus. Leonardo da Vinci. The problem is we have 26 ships at sea and we don't know which ones are infected. Well then, put the ship's ballast under manual control. There's no such thing anymore, Duke. These ships are totally computerized. They rely on satellite navigation which links them to our network and the virus wherever they are in the world. My head hurts. 
Yo, 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 check this out. Hey, what's the Da Vinci virus? What? Check this out. It's a memo about how they're gonna deal with those oil spills that happened on the 14th. What oil spills? Whoa, whoa. Don't break that. Today's the 13th. Well, this hasn't happened yet. Wait a minute, the 14th? That's the same day the war exits run. I mean, Da Vinci virus didn't... Didn't Freak say that's what he's being charged with? Infecting ballast programs of Ellings and Takers. They blame hackers. Bam! Or antivirus? Plot thickens. Well, the next stage in this disaster is going to be this. Because the loop current travels down below Florida for a little bit, it will join in here just below the Florida Keys, but it's going it, to, there's going to be a lot of wash up along the Florida Keys, I'm sure Key West is going to get hit unless they start putting out bales of uh, uh, protection around this region here, you know, and with you know, a state that sends people to space and that kind of thing, it shouldn't be too difficult to get hay bales linked up in a 4 to 10, 15, 20 mile chain to buffer this area here. And then if they have to, they'll probably have to start creating bales now for the coast of Florida on the uh, east coast because this is the current right here, the Straits of Florida, and uh, the loop current does travel up this direction. And that plume underneath the water that's something like a hundred miles or was a hundred miles long and ten miles wide and uh, thousands of meters deep is now floating underneath all this we can't see it but it's going to wash up this side you'll see dead animals because there's just as many animals living underneath at deep depths as there is above uh, maybe not as long the coastline where you have a lot of the smaller fish and the coral reefs but you're going to have a lot of channel fish and, and straight fish washing up on the beaches as the current washes this way along the eastern coast of Florida. And that means Miami Beach, Miami, this whole area will be devastated economically once oil starts uh, washing up on the beach here. And those are the people and the economies that should be really putting an effort into this now and trying to set up private and public uh, protection around the tip of Florida. And I've been in Naples and that's one beautiful place, I'll tell you. Um, and it was back in the uh, 70s, before it was the higher end of Florida I hear now. Um, but did fishing, caught lizards and stuff, and little anoles. And this state needs to be protected. The Everglades are here, they will absorb that. Uh, a lot of that oil will end up in the water table here. Unless we get that thing capped or we get dredges in there and uh, suction happening so that we at least take off some of that oil that's escaping. Um, ships should be built now to start filtering the plume that's underneath the water so that it can be uh, constantly uh, filtered by super tanker sized ships uh, flowing the water through a separator and then back into the ocean uh, constantly just sucking that concentrated water because that toxicity of the current there if it increases anymore uh, could affect uh, even Europe because this current here travels right across the Atlantic and up into England and that's where it gives the uh, heat that England enjoys and the mild weather it enjoys at that uh, place on the globe so it's all going to come back to BP in one way or another and they should be really making a monumental effort uh, billions of dollars should have been spent by now fixing this and uh, I don't think that uh, their stockholders will want the results of this <laughs>